Hi, Dave Burns here with this week's video diary. It's been quite a busy week, a lot of things to catch up on. So uh, let's get straight down to it, roll titles. Okay, well this week uh, things have been getting a little bit back to almost what I would call normal. Uh, the weather in Glasgow's picked up, but you can see it's a bright sunny day behind me. Uh, the storms that have been battering his last wee while have passed, and I've been able to get back out doing a little bit of busking, doing what I love, playing music. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Uh, and actually playing music to live people who are actually there in front of me and not on a computer screen. I mean, doing these uh, vlogs has been kind of nice, but it doesn't make up for what I've been missing with lockdowns and COVID dragging on and everything, which is actually playing music to an audience. So it's been lovely to get back out onto the streets playing for, for people who are actually there. Uh, it's not quite been exactly normal though. You might know that at the moment Glasgow is playing host to the COP26 climate change summit and um, that means that the city centre is not quite as accessible as it normally would be. Uh, a, a lot of it is completely closed off for the summit to take place. There's protests going on which have closed down other parts of it, so I've been just busking um, a bit more local to where I stay in the south side where it's a bit more out of the way of all that. Um, so it's, it's been nice to, to get back out and um, and doing things again. Now, I've, I've bussed in Victoria Road before and it's it's a nice wee spot. Um, it's a bit quieter than the city centre in terms of passing trade, so I don't make as much. But generally, I don't get as much of the nuttles that I do in the city centre, usually. There have been a, a couple of them this week. Um, on Monday, uh, I was um, midway through a song when someone comes up and s starts off saying, oh, you're sounding really good, but then wants to sit down on the bench right next to me. And I'm like, no, not just now. You know, in normal times maybe, but we're, we're still in the middle of a global viral pandemic here. You know, let's keep a, a bit of social distancing. There's plenty of of benches all around. Uh, there's a couple of public benches. I'm playing outside a, a cafe. There's there's outdoor seating. There's loads of places you can go and and sit down. And remember, this is this is I was mid song when she came up and start, tried to start this conversation. Literally in the middle of singing, and this happens. Uh, and rather than just saying, "Oh, fine, I'll just go and." sit a little bit back from you so I can listen but not be too close whilst there's a deadly virus around. She decides to stand directly behind me, directly behind me, and start making faces and obscene gestures at me behind my back, which she thinks I can't see. Of course I can see, I can see her reflection in the shop window. So this goes on for a minute whilst I complete the song that I was playing. I turn around and like, you, you know I can see you in the shop window. Uh, and then she goes on this massive rant at me, then storms off. And this is this is not, you know, some wee Ned. She looked about 90. I don't know what was going through her head. But she, as I say, she started at first she was saying, oh, you're sounding lovely, and then because I wouldn't let her sit right next to me whilst there's a deadly virus, she behaves like that. 
people make Glasgow, eh? The very next day, I'm back out playing in the same spot, and this old guy walks up, again, mid-song. They never, ever wait until you finish the song. I'm standing there singing, uh, and he walks up and just launches into a conversation uh, about this musician in Partick that I must have heard of, who is starting to get quite famous according to him. You must have heard of him. Like, I can't remember what his name was. But you can't believe that I have I've not heard of him. You must know him. You must know him. He's on that... Um, he's on... This is, this is what he's saying to me. He's on that... What do you call it? Um, he's getting a big following now. He must be. Because he's on that... Not television. What do you call it? That... Um, that... Um, that uh, internet. You know that there uh, internet? Have you heard of that? Yes, I've heard of the internet. Being on the internet doesn't mean you're famous. I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet right now. Where are my millions of followers? <laughs> Having a website doesn't mean you're famous. Um, <clears throat> so he, he, he keeps going on at me with this whilst I'm still strumming, trying to get a, a chance to get in edgeways to finish the song. Whilst it's clear that I don't really want to carry on this insane conversation. Eventually he wanders off. <clears throat> I mean, that, that, that's, that's, these are two quite relatively mild examples of the strange people that you get when you're busking. I mean, 99% of the people that you meet when you're out playing are lovely. You know, they enjoy the music, they're happy to put a few quid in the case, they, they'll, they'll sit there and listen to you for a while and really love it. And you know, most of them, if they want to speak to you, they'll wait until you finish the song and then come up and introduce themselves and say that they, they, they really appreciated you playing. You know, most of them are fantastic. You know, I've met some lovely people when I've been playing. 0.9% are, are just a bit irritating. <clears throat> 0.1% are seriously scary. I've, you know, I've, I've had, you know, Neds come up trying to start fights in the city centre just because I was playing a song that they didn't like. You know, you, you'll see stories going around. There was, there was um, one on the BBC website just this week of uh, of someone who live streams their entire <clears throat> their entire busk just in case she needs to have a. A witness of anything that happens. So, uh, yeah, there are some weird, weird people out there that, that think it's acceptable to go up and harass people just for singing a song. Um, you know, thankfully, the ones I've had this week have been right down at the very, very bottom end of the mild irritation scale. But it can get escalate into quite serious stuff when there's some weird people out there. But um, yeah, most of the busks have been have been really nice. But uh, as I say, I've I've been playing around the south side just because the city centre is largely closed off because of COP26. I would love to say that I am hopeful that this is all going to be worth it. But um, when you hear stories of climate change delegates who have flown into Scotland and then set up in their hotel in Prestwick and then are commuting every day to the conference in Glasgow just a couple of miles away by private jet. I don't really think that's quite the attitude for a climate change conference. So I would love to say that I'm hopeful this is going to be, all this disruption in Glasgow is going to be worth it, but it's just another talking shop of hot air, isn't it? Uh, this is a bit of a, a rambling vlog this week uh, and you might have noticed that my voice is a little bit hoarse. Uh, I'm glad to say it's not from shouting at Neds to go away, it's because I was through in Edinburgh last night to see a fantastic play at the theatre. Um, I spent a lot of lockdown watching mischief comedy productions. They do the show that goes wrong and uh, all the goes wrong plays and uh, this was one of theirs. Um, it was the play that goes wrong. I have not laughed so much in ages. It was fantastic. 
Uh, I don't want to say much about it that, that would just be a, a plot spoiler or, or su spoil the surprises of all the jokes, but just to say, if you ever get the chance to go and see any of the Mischief Theatre production Goes Wrong shows or any of the other ones that they do, take it. Grab the opportunity to go and see it uh, live if you can or on, on video if you can't. It's on iPlayer and uh, a few other streaming sites. They are incredible and I have laughed myself completely hoarse, which is why I'm not out busking today. On to the main event. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the, not yet. <laughs> for the murder at Habersham Manor. <laughs> Thomas. I'll take his pulse. Charles gone. What a horror. <laughs> There's no question. He's passed away. I'm dumbfounded. He was as right as rain an hour ago. Upstairs. <laughs> so, speak to everyone individually. And then you can get some space to calm your nerves. <laughs> uh, so that's about all that's been happening this week, but just to flag up something that's coming up, uh, tomorrow on my YouTube channel, the next episode of the Marshall Chip Shabby Road Sessions will go up. Uh, these are the uh, live studio recordings that uh, my band have been doing, uh, live online gigs, basically. Um, it's, a, it's a completely COVID way, it's a completely COVID safe way of seeing us play right now whilst we're not doing all that many gigs. And uh, episode two has got uh, a, a six song set with uh, a couple of brand new ones that are going to be on our next album and a cover by one of our favourite artists. Uh, so that will go up tomorrow. I'll put uh, a link down to where you can see that in the uh, description of this video. I um, hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll see you again next week for uh, the next episode of the vlog um, which will probably be a slightly more coherent, bland one rather than this rambling one that I'm doing whilst I'm half asleep and hoarse from laughing my head off at the theatre last night. Um, just to say quickly, if you've enjoyed these, please do like the videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click little bell icon so you get notifications of when anything that I do goes up and uh, if you'd like to help support uh, to throw a, a few quid in the virtual busking case then my Patreon link is patreon.com slash David Burns and thank you very very much to uh, anyone who's gone and subscribed there thank you to anyone who's thrown a quid in the actual busking case it's been great to get back out playing uh, hopefully the weather will hold I can do a lot more of that and uh, hopefully COVID cases continue to decline here in Glasgow and I'll feel a bit more comfortable pretty soon going out and playing more gigs. I think I'm going to be back at uh, open mics before too long. So um, yeah, there'll be opportunities to see me play live in person soon. But uh, in the meantime, Shabby Road episode 2 goes out tomorrow. Take care, stay safe and I'll see you next week. Victory. Yeah.